doing. I hope everybody's fine. But if you notice over here at the top right hand corner, you'll notice dust. They just did a blast. And they're not going to show us the blast, but you can still see where they done the blast. Uh, in fact, right here, they done some blasting right in here earlier today where all those drill points were we were talking about last night they've blasted um, they're showing us down here where they've been cleaning up from where they blasted before but that's not what we wanted to see waiting for it to move up here just a little bit we might have to go through the whole scenario to see it so let's just wait here a second they had a drone fly over because I just seen the drone. And you can't can't really see it up here to the top left hand corner. But it's going to go to that damn screen. I hate that one. It's kind of like a waste of time other than to show you all the rock that's reappeared uh, today since yesterday all of that was gone and they have <coughs> piled up some new stuff here and I got the mic too far away but you can see up here to the top left where all the dust is still floating in the air and you can see it up here in the cloud area where dust has went up and you can see it's still smoldering away and blowing away but they definitely did do uh, a blast and it was in this area right here and they may have done another one up in here so there you go I was wondering why everybody had quit working so early so they kind of back off on the work with their work trucks and stuff when they do a blast and we've got two guys down here and inspecting what they just done all of those holes that was in here uh, have done been blasted now they didn't blast up here to the top you can still see the holes but all of this area that was all crunched in has been blasted out and we will look at some more stuff here in just a second let me get some of this up pulled up Hello everybody, along with everything else that we've been talking about while I was doing research and talking to Dutch here, there was a 4.5 earthquake at Yellowstone that I am going to add to the page that I just made where Dutch was talking about Yellowstone in his video and all the charts to go along with it. So I'm going to add that and this video to that page as well so we can all check this out and boy that's a pretty big damn earthquake for Yellowstone I mean that's quite big and they're all in the same damn spot how about that we have had a swarm there for days starting with a 2.7 going up to 2.9 then a 3.1 and now a 4.5 man isn't that quite odd folks I thought I would show it to you so there you go and I'm sure that Dutch here shortly will give you some more information on why that occurred I know he's going to here shortly and back to our Orville Dam, we have gotten 11 photos. This is one showing the top part of the spillway up to this point. Now, further up, we're fixing to show some other photos, but just to show you that they're getting ready for cranes and concrete work over here. There's a concrete bucket there. Or they're going to be pouring concrete and this is why as you can see right here at all the rebar that they have already connected and started putting in in series here you can see now we'll go to the next photo 
and you got a good shot of the rebar of the way they design it and quite frankly if they build it like this that damn thing ought to be mighty strong for another 50 years but what's that to me uh, I won't be here some of you young whippersnappers might still be here but you'll be walking around talking kind of like me by then <laughs> and here's another shot of it and well, this is an old shot of some rebar all twisted up mangled up crunched up and beat up with rock <coughs> and another one and here's one showing them filling up a water truck where they pump water up into the big tank and then it just pours into the the truck and it goes around spraying the the driveways to keep the dust down and wash off the the platforms where they working and stuff like that and then we're just getting into some other photos where they still got the barges out there digging digging out rock and debris from the disaster to start with and you can see that they're still getting down with it and where we were talking about in the previous part this is the area where I was telling y'all they were laying down the uh, explosives and the explosion that we just saw this is where they were laying it out and this is the area that we were talking about yesterday as well about the explosion that we just saw the dust from and you can see where they're working on it here again they're, where they're getting ready to lay it out put the caps in the holes and the whole nine yards and that's pretty much the last one of the photos so hold on a second let me show you this okay right here is where they were laying the charges down for the day and you'll have to go back to the beginning of the video folks to see the explosion that they done in here okay now they're still drilling up here and done anything but beyond that point right here Beyond this point, on the other side is where they put in the conduit down, or not, but not conduit, damn it, the rebar. And they dug this wall out right here. That's where they're coming in with their equipment. And with the crane that you, they're putting together, which is not completed as of yet. But as you see, this is the charge. This is where they blast, you know, they did some blasting. This is the area that I think that they're trying to take out so it doesn't uh, uh, so it'll be a flat area that, that's just my theory whether they do it that way or not I don't know maybe they are trying to clear that out so they can get down deeper into this hole over here there's no telling what they're exactly doing we won't know until it starts coming together for sure so folks if you like what I'm doing oh wait a minute we gotta I gotta go over here hold on we gotta do this we haven't done it yet and I gotta do this too because I need to get this video out <clears throat> but as far as what we got going on there's two here there's one here one here 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 one here there's one in this area here um, there's one here, one here, there's one there, there's a big one or a bigger one up there, and we got our frequencies running white rapid. as you can tell and also want to show y'all something else that happened early this morning and that's over here this is Dutch talking last night of a radar pulse what was which was on a telecast in Alaska now also want you to pay attention to this he called it 
a radar pulse. That's really what it is. It's radar. Okay, folks? But in every radar, there's a frequency. Okay? In other words, there's a frequency to it. Now, that's my analogy of this is the reason why I'm telling you this is because in radar pulsing uh, it has a nickname of harp uh, the reason why we say that is because the attacks and the abuse that has come from it so I changed it myself to frequency rings that way it's different but it doesn't matter. It's still the same thing. But behind all of this, and behind of all things that I've talked about a lot, which is high voltage power lines, all of that is frequency. It's all a transmitted frequency, including this. Still a frequency, no matter what. It's a frequency. But I just wanted it all for all of y'all to see it, to know it, to see what it is, and we can show some of this here you, you, you can see it change colors and if you pay attention to this area right here uh, which is real close to where the actual harp is it's actually blocking some of that out isn't that curious uh, I don't know what he's doing here but he's moving it around I figured I'd show you some of it moving and changing the colors and as you see as it the little thing goes across here, it changes colors, it changes, moves, it looks similar to the one that I found back a long time ago up here, but mine was coming directly from Harp, and this one's coming from a military base out here in the, a little bitty, a little bitty ass island out here that Dutch found as well, where they got a whole bunch of radar and, uh, you know, different things like that, which created that big ring. So, folks, with that, if you do like my stuff and like what I do, please make sure you come over to my channel, subscribe to the channel, click on the gearbox, make the bell highlight like that by hitting the check mark in there and you should get my feed in your channel make sure you subscribe to Dutch and Copper Tropical since this is her video so with that folks much love to y'all y'all all have a wonderful day and a wonderful night and from my cold dead hands and I damn well mean it I abolish corporate government for your freedoms much love to y'all hello everybody how are y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. This is why I do what I do. Because our land has been stolen and taken from us. Everyone has pledged this saying, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are not a democracy, folks. We are a republic. Straight up, no ifs, no ands, no buts, we're a republic. And if you believe that we are a democracy, this is why you have become a slave with all of your personal property and everything else that does not belong to you. From my cold dead hands and I damn well mean it, abolish corporate government for you friends. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day now, you hear?